Hi everybody, Jo here again. Thanks for joining me today. As always, it's so lovely to have your company. Now, the other week we made some backgrounds with our fabulous sprays, our mystical sprays from Lavinia. And I know so many of you messaged me and left comments that you've bought these and a couple of ladies actually said they'd not even put the water in yet. So um, I'm so pleased that uh, by watching the video, you then put some water in and had a play. And it's lovely when you do that. Honestly, here at Lavinia, we love it when we get such um, positive feedback. And also we love it, the fact that we can inspire you, especially if you're having a, a rough time and Mr Mojo's gone. But one question that kept coming up was, it's all right making all these backgrounds and, you know, but what do we do with them? So I had a play after we'd finished and in the video, I think I'd got a couple of ideas what to do with the background. So I did actually do that. So this was the one that I showed you in the video, but I went on and created, I'm just going to file those on the floor next to Eric. And I had the idea with this one to use our gorgeous pheasant stamp. I've not really used it much before. My dad, God bless him, he would he would have loved this. He he used to love pheasants, and we had um, pheasants on his um, floral tribute when he passed away last year. So I'd, I'd, I bought this stamp. I'd not had it, and and it, it's um, special to me. But do you know what? It was perfect for this design, and it worked exactly as I wanted. Lovely, clean, and simple. And all I had to do was stamp the pheasant use one of our circle masks I used midnight blue or graphite is perfect for this and you know what you've got a card just beautiful and then the other one that I did and, and I do think it's important to show you finished designs is with our panel one and so I created just some floral stamping and then a main focal point and again, a bit of a spotlight. And just by using careful shading round, we almost get that. So it looks a bit like a magnifying glass. So we're using it to just to spotlight and highlight. So what I thought I'd do today is we'd create another piece to go in our journal. And I'll show you the way, <laughs> I've said it before, that my head works. So my idea is I've cut one of our backgrounds down and I've put a black Sharpie line round. Any, any black pen, your permanent markers. And I've got another piece of card. And I've got one, maybe two empty spaces, pages left in my journal. So not long now. And I do promise I'll do a run through. We'll sit and we'll look through it together. And, and thank you to those of you that have asked if we're going to do that. Honestly, that means the world to me because I know at Lavinia, mainly we're used to making cards. And so I know journaling, it's taken a little while for us crafters to get used to the idea. So thank you for those of you that are joining me on this journey. Not easy to say that, is it? Too many J's. So what I did, when I have pieces like this, A, I look at the colours. And as you know, I love to use stenciling in the background. So my, that's one idea I've got. But also I'm thinking what stamp to use on this. And I love to do this and look through my stamps for stamps I haven't used for a while. And I think this is a good way of... And also, I don't want my journal full of... my like the same stamps because I don't know about you but I have a habit of going back to my favourites so I got out the forest temple stamp and I haven't used this for a while and I don't think I've used it in my journal at all to be honest I'm having a quick I don't think I have so what I'm thinking is and again let's have a look at this different ways now I'm thinking I like that way and what I'm thinking is if I stamp that but again, use your acetate. I like the blue you see up. Oh, I could stamp it up. No, I don't like that as much. Mm, I quite like that blue down there, though. Actually, I may go that way. Yep. And, and it's important to do this. So that's what, that's, that's what I think we'll go for. So I'll get my copy of paper. And as I say, it's a great way to look through your stamps. I think a few of us are getting that sort of spring cleaning sort of feeling. I know a couple of ladies have been cataloguing the stamps and I have to say I'm most impressed with that. I haven't got that. I've got as far as dividing mine up into trees, flowers, <laughs> fairies, animals. I have to say this beautiful stamp is in my extras, my etc. 
the ones I, I don't know whether this fits in with trees or doors maybe I need a, a section for for doors so again nice light tapping if you're new to Lavinia and again we've got some lovely new followers and it's always so lovely to hear from you so me I tend to catch the edges so I'm just going to get a cloth and just wipe and you know our fabulous Tracy, she can manage to, you know, she can get ink on her fingers, on on her stamps, and it doesn't go on her work. Me, I think it takes one look at me and it goes, do you know what? I'm going to put black marks everywhere. But I think, you know, a lot of it is learning what you like. And I just have to, I just have to know that's what I'm like. So I have to clean my stamp. I am just one of those. Right. So, and again, I have to stamp sideways just because it's easier for me to hold and I'm thinking I'm going to go for that there but it's however you're comfortable stamping now this is a sizable stamp as you know I have some copy paper underneath just because for me I've got arthritis in in my knuckles and I know there's quite a few of the that have problems with arthritis in your hands and so I'm not the best stamper in the world um mind you <laughs> I've always said I'm not. I never pretend to be. So I do have to find ways of, and I know some people can pop the stamp down, lift it up and it stamps beautifully. No, that's not me, unfortunately. I do have to let that ink soak in the card, especially here when we've got mystical sprays. And I just know if I lift my stamp up too soon, it won't stamp properly. So... And again, remember, you've got a little bit of flex just for the middle of the stamp. And there we go. That stamp has stamped beautifully. And I love the way I can see those mysticals through. So I'm just going to give that a bit of a blot. And what I like about this sort of design is that I'm not going to create um, almost a scene. Sometimes we do stamp up a lovely scene. But sometimes I like to just leave it sort of to the imagination. But what I'm thinking we will do, excuse Eric out of the way, going to come in with my pastel pencils and I'm just going to see if I can add a little bit of almost extra. So I'm thinking the yellow and the orange look. If we just add... And again, you versify and clear, it's that slower drying ink. So obviously I've just blotted it. But where we've got the white there, I'm just thinking, and have I got a clean, these are biodegradable cotton buds and I just keep them to use just to, to smudge. The smudging does two things. I think it makes it look better, but also it just helps to fix because we don't want to have to, you know, spray and fix but a little smudge on the pastel will be enough just to fix it. I'm thinking if I just come in with a, a deeper orange just round the edge. And it just sort of adds to that, that glow inside the door. And then what I'm wondering is, if I put those back, and I'm afraid I am one of those, I do have to put them in order. Maybe if we just come in with a brown and just add a little bit just at the base. You know, just sort of a, a bit of shading just to sort of give it a bit more of a 3D shaded look. I'm not going to overcook it. Just a little bit to give it a bit more interest. And almost ground everything, extend that scene. And almost if we can emphasise the archway. I think that might just... I say I, I don't want to colour the whole design. And that's why I'm thinking the pastel pencils. Because when they smudge, they just give that lovely sort of... Can you see, to me, that's just given us a little bit more definition... And just making it sort of pop off the page a little bit more without having to colour. I don't want to colour the whole design. 
just add a little bit of and there's so much detail in these Tracy has drawn these and she hand draws them all all the stamps absolutely beautiful and we've got that lovely detail so I just want to work with that not against it And there we go I think for me that's just enough to add that little bit without being too much I just think that's lovely I just want to go through that gate don't you so the pastel pencils are lovely for that as I say when you want that bit extra so what we're going to do is we're going to add some stenciling on our work and we'll go for the same colour tones so we've got blues and greens so I've got blue at all which is definitely becoming one of my firm favourites as you know and we've also got green sleeves so I'm going to pop that there where I can see it and I've got my blue and my green stencil brushes and the stencil I've chosen to use again I want to use one that I haven't used a lot in my journal is this beautiful one I think this one's called abstract I have my favorites as you know and I'm trying to not go to exactly the same the same ones so I'm just going to do a little bit of stenciling and I'm going to start with some green and I'm going to do opposite corners as you know I have a thing about opposite corners don't know why I just think it looks lovely but you could go all the way around if you wanted you could do just one corner again it's your design and I'm just going to blend that blue over the green if I want to lift up look oh I like that a little bit more blue there into the green just to keep those tones yeah so I'm going to turn it round just to make it easy for myself and use the same sort of area of the stencil because dip into the lid again and gently gently tickle that stencil in the corner so we'll add a little bit of green and then come in with the blue and overlap the two so we're almost blending our own new colour I think I need a little bit more blue there but gently gently let's have a look yeah a bit more again can always add it can't we build it up till you're happy yeah I like that colour and then what I'm thinking when I get this look and those colours for me really tone well but we want to add it into our journal don't we so what I'm going to do is just get my journal and you know I don't have much space for this let's just get Mr Inky Binky to clean our workspace and then my page near the back of my journal. I've got my bookmark. Now I have created already this side here. Again, with one of my backgrounds, beautiful sentiments, art is a story waiting to be told, a couple of our lovely butterflies. So I'm going to create this side to complement it. And so as we can see, We've already, in fact, I'm going to put it this way. We've already got this here. And what I'm thinking is, the reason I turned it round is normally I do my corner to corner that way because your eye reads as a Z. So that looks really good to the eye. But I've got my stenciling here. So I'm thinking we're going to do opposite corners. So it's not a problem. We can pop it that way. And I think that will flow nicely across. So we'll bring our stencil in and pop it here. So here we've got the blue going into the green. So we'll start with our blue. And again, we're just going to carry the, the two pages on. So it looks like one cohesive double page spread. You know, I like that word, the word of Sir Tim of Holtzness. And then we'll come in with our green. I 
and we're just going to let's have a look yep just want a little bit more blue down here and I love the way that goes across so let's go into our top corner just checking this was the blue and again tickle always going to the lid And I want this quite dark on that edge. So I'm just building it up and then we'll come into the green. And again, I start away from the blue look. So they're not blending to start off with. Then I just take the blue into the green a little and the green into the blue, just like when we're blending and just work over that area where they meet. Oh, look at that. And it's just such a beautiful mix of the colours. And what I'm thinking is when we bring this in, look. And so what we're doing is carrying, you know, I love stencil work that carries on into the frame and then into the page. I think that's just beautiful. So we'll pop the lids on there. I'm really happy with that. I don't want to add any more. So we'll stick these in. And again, it's belt and braces time. So we'll have a little bit of tape and then get our bippity boppity glue. Make sure we've got that right up to the edges. Make sure I get this the right way around. We're going to have that. Again, I've got wiggle time. So we'll have that there. And then we'll just pop again a bit of BB glue, fabulous glue. This goes right to the edges, look. And then we've got that bit of wiggle time just to pop that there. Give it a good and again, for me, I'm going to use my kitchen towel just because if I've got any ink on my fingers or like the pastel pencil. It's not quite stuck down there. Let's just add a bit extra in there. Must have missed that bit when I was... Going round, get a good press, there we go. Now what I did do on this side is I added a couple of our butterflies. So if I just look in my little tin and I adore these tins and um, Sarah, lovely Sarah Anderson's done some gorgeous work with these. So do look out for those. Um, I am obsessed with them. Mine's just got my butterflies in and I've got a few ready and I'm thinking these colours will just and if we just add two although I've got a pink one I could bring the pink because I've got the pink one on that side do I want a third that one down there and what I'm thinking is I've got an idea I just want to add and again, so those of you that follow us on, on our Facebook, um, Kay Nixon, our lovely Kay, has been using her chocolate covers in her journals and that really inspired me. So thank you, Kay. And I do think it's important, no matter who we are, you know, we always should let people know of those that inspire us because it is obvious when we look at work, we know where it's come from. So thank you, Kay. Um, and you do some, some fabulous work for us. But I never thought of popping the chocolate cover in my journal so I've used one of these lovely pins and I think these are called wire pins they actually remind me of kilt pins when I was little I had a well little I'm still little when I was younger I had a kilt and it had this gorgeous kilt pin on so I love those but I'm thinking I could actually put that in my journal here and actually I'm happy with that that's yep so what we'll do is I need to I cut the antennae off my butterfly so I'm really sorry anybody who it offends it really doesn't hurt them you know so I just draw them on I'm afraid you know I haven't got that patience to cut round 
And I know some of you that do fabulous fussy cutting, you can, but unfortunately, it's not for me. I've got too many dog walks to go on to be doing that. So, but I draw it back on so they can still fly okay. So I'm happy with that. And I'm just going to add some splats before I put my chocolate wrapper on. So I'm going to come in with this lovely glittery sparkly Posca, this yellow one. And I just think because we've got, although we've got green tones, the yellow's coming through. So, and I'm going over the butterflies and I just love the way this dries with the sparkle. And because we've got the mica in the mysticals, I think it adds to that whole sparkly effect. And I just think that's such a pretty. And we'll go over the seam here, look, between the two. So the two pages, it almost joins them together. Because that's the important thing. I don't want my pages to look like they're separate. I really want it to look like one whole design. So the last thing I've got is to add my beautiful. And again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of tape to the back. And then I'm going to use my glue. So it's just that belt and braces for me. I just like to make sure I've got both the glue. And I'll just put the lid on. And I'm thinking I just want to add that there. And then that's my lovely page finished and for me i've just used obviously one of the backgrounds to stamp on and one there just cut it down look and added my sentiment so i hope that's given you some inspiration as to what to do with your backgrounds and also as i've said it's a great time look through your stamps see what stamps you've got and just look at different ways of using them and again using that stencil in the background as i said if you want to do a whole frame you can. I just love that little bit of white space. It's important. It gives our eye somewhere to rest. So when we're looking at the page, your eye can rest and, and it just makes you feel better. So I'm hoping you enjoyed that. And I'm hoping you have a go at this design. And it is lovely to see all your journal pages on social media. Now that um, so many of us crafters have got the courage to pop them on social media it's so lovely to see and you will encourage other people because I know there's still a few uh, ladies and gentlemen they're a little bit nervous and I think when they see your lovely work and we comment and we encourage each other it's so nice that, that so many of us are now joining in with the journey so you take care I'll pop back again tomorrow I have to remember yes it's Monday isn't it Tuesday tomorrow so enjoy your evening, everybody. You take care. Love and hugs from me. See you soon. Bye for now.